Hey crafty friends, it's Elizabeth from BB's Butterfly and today I have a um, project share for you. I told you in my uh, craft room tour video um, that I was going to do a video about the um, junk journal that I created called Diary of a Mobster's Wife. Um, if you follow me on Instagram you've seen this cover. Um, I think um, I don't think I did a video on how I created it, but um, this is my first attempt at a mixed media cover for a journal. So um, the reason it is titled what it is is because this book was actually, um, the cover is made from the book Scarface. And so I kind of thought I wanted to play a little bit on that title. So um, the cover is, is from Scarface, and then I used a bunch of... Um, uh, wood veneer pieces, some um, different metal embellishments I had in my stash. Um, and then I just kind of painted it and created this amazing cover. And then on the spine I have some um, cream colored seam binding and then I have a charm which I created to go with the cover. So there's that. So in this book, um, I did a lot of coffee dyeing. You see a lot of a lot of um, sewing, textiles, lace stuff on the edges. So I just want to go through it really quickly. I think it turned out pretty amazing. Um, good grungy papers, lots of um, ledger paper, um, some book pages, some torn pages, and I have some you know random metal embellishments throughout. So um, the other interesting thing about this book is I found a music book of um, J.R.R. Tolkien was approached by a musician and the musician had written the music and then asked Tolkien to create the, the words for it. So um, I put those music notes in here as well. This piece of coffee paper, I don't know how well it shows up, but... Um, I laid some, a lace or a doily on top of the paper when I did the coffee dyeing, and so some of that design came through. It's pretty cool. Um, there are a total of, um, I want to say, um, 86 pages. Maybe it was 92 pages. Um, at any rate, there's there's lots of goodies in here. Some beautiful bridal lace um, that's been kind of it's not white, but it's it's not cream colored either. It's just really pretty. Um, so again, lots of coffee dyeing, lots of sewing, and then I created these little um, envelopes. I just took some random bits of paper that I had and, and just did some messy sewing on them. Um, I had some great colors come out of my coffee dyeing, so it's nice and grungy. Again, a doily that the pattern kind of came through on the paper. Um, I did sew the signatures with um, the sewing machine. So all of the signatures uh, are sewn together and then they are sewn into the spine with some crochet um, thread. So lots of different things. Here's another one of those pockets um, with it's just a, a pocket kind of stuck in there. Lots of messy, grungy sewing all over it. Um, put that back in there. More ledger paper, book pages. Um, this was a really fun page that came out. I had a tag laying on top of it, and the, the shape of the tag came through. Um, more little page pieces. Another pocket. Lots of blank space for, for you to write in. Um, I am going to be listing this on my Etsy shop on Saturday. So um, if you just search for BB's Butterfly um, in Etsy, you will find this journal. So again, more sewing, more pages, just just kind of basic, but with lots of interest. There's some. This one came out pretty interesting. There's some lines on this page. Um, and then this paper is from Tim Holtz. Um, I forget which pack, but 
Um, so yeah, there's the, the f junk journal. My apologies, my camera cut out. Um, I just wanted to again reiterate that this journal will be in my Etsy shop um, on Saturday, May 26th, I believe it is, um, at, or at least by, um, 1030 Central Time. So, um, fingers crossed on that. But anyway, if you have questions again, please send me a message through YouTube and I'll be happy to answer it or um, just check out my Etsy shop on Saturday. And I hope you all have a wonderful evening and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.